<coughs> Hello, friends. It is me yet again. So, um, here's my current uh, project. Um, yeah, it's basically just a copper disc on top of a magnet, and um, you know, it's kind of the same thing as my last uh, video, where I had a um, spinning magnet. You could call it a homo polar motor, I guess. It's uh, the same principle. You know, even with uh, my mercury uh, vortex experiments, it's the same thing. You're just using uh, the vortex of the magnetic field from uh, the magnet, and then uh, um, when you uh, when you run electricity through that field, um, the field causes the electrons to spin as they move through it and they will pull they will pull along uh, whatever they're moving through like a copper disc or liquid mercury or uh, magnets themselves yeah so here it is um, it works and uh, the important thing to realize it's not that this is just another uh, homopolar motor. The important thing to realize is what you can do with this because, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see that too well. <laughs> um, one sec. Yeah, so here's a little uh, diagram. If you have a suspended uh, magnet that's, um, you know, glued to a copper rod or a brass rod or whatever, you can actually have two um, copper discs counter rotating around the same magnet. The magnet doesn't move, but the two copper discs will move and counter rotate using the same uh, power source so uh, you know what this uh, means is that you can have uh, twin counter rotating uh, gyroscopes uh, moving at incredible speed and this in turn um, eventually produces an anti-gravity effect and also a sort of um, self-sustaining uh, free energy effect and uh, yeah, there's actually, uh, from what I've read, there's craft um, that the US military has uh, that uses the same principle, anti-gravity craft, or I guess you could call it um, electrogravitic uh, craft that they have. Yeah. But anyways, let me just show you. Let me show you it uh, in operation. Whoa. It's a bit tricky to get started. Yeah, so there it is. This is a pretty uh, simple uh, 
one. Uh, I'm running it on um, 13 9 volt batteries, uh, all in uh, parallel. So, you know, you need um, high amperage and uh, voltage is not really an issue. And, uh, you know, making one where there's two copper discs counter rotating uh, isn't really that hard. In fact, uh, in my next video, that's what you will get to see. <laughs> Yeah, here it is. Uh, I guess I'll just show you it. Here's the next one I'm gonna build. Um, one sec. Uh, okay, here we go. Right there. See, it's just a bigger one. Um, and uh, the magnet's gonna go um, on here, and then there'll be another disc up here. And. Uh, it might even be possible to like have the discs um, kind of curving around so that uh, the contact point could be between the, the two discs. Um, you know, instead of like, instead of using like um, a couple of uh, brushes that are connected to each other to connect the two um, copper discs you could just have them connected to each other I think it was uh, Bruce De Palma that um, used liquid mercury as a contact um, uh, you know as a like to connect his uh, copper disc to um, his power source he used sort of like a ring of uh, liquid mercury that would provide uh, a means of like um, connecting his apparatus yeah okay so I guess that's it I will see you guys next time bye